Hey guys, welcome back. So for a while now, I've owned this uh, Fender Blues Deluxe amplifier, which is about 45, 44, 45 to 50 um, watt amplifier. I haven't been able to use it much inside the house because uh, it's too overpowering. It's way too loud to use inside. So I've been trying to figure out, you know, how to actually make some use of it. I was looking online to purchase an attenuator uh, for an amplifier. But then I thought, why not try to just make one myself? So I looked online and found a tutorial that uh, I can build. All the parts I needed, I went ahead and ordered it already. So in today's short video, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, build. And then at the end, I'll test it, see if it works. Um, so let's begin.
Okay, so I've connected the amplifier output from the amp head to the input on this jack and then into the 8 ohm speaker and then into uh, from here output to the um, speaker cabinet and then I've got the guitar plugged in I don't know if the amp warmed up but let's go ahead and try it so I'll turn it off right now the attenuator is off okay so it shouldn't make any difference so let's turn the amp off so let's turn the amp on okay so that's with the attenuator off and the amp volume is only on two and a half so the amp volume is only on two and a half right now let's let's turn this on and see if it makes a difference so yeah, uh, right now it just went pretty much dead. It's mute. That's because the attenuator is set to minimum. So let's turn it up and see what it does. Yep, starting to pick it up now. So right now it should be the same volume full output of what the amp is putting out. If I turn this up Okay, so let's turn this down and see if it does bring it down. Well, I wanna bring the volume down here first. And let's put these all the way up. And let's see. So right now, the volumes are all the way up on the amp, but not doing anything, because this is on minimum. So let's start turning this up. the amp is all the way up and I could still bring this down to a level where I could play it in my room without disturbing anybody So that piece of it working. The other option that we have in here is basically like a, a like a treble boost, like a bright channel. Um, I suppose this does bright and then even brighter, like higher frequencies. So I don't know if I'll be able to pick that up. But just a little test, but let's see if it makes any difference. Yeah, this is hard to pick up by ear just just testing right now uh, I'll know more if I'm actually playing uh, how that's it's working and you could try different um, uh, settings with the different capacitors that I have in there so you could always switch those out um, they're just screwed on they're not soldered on so we can all assess that but my main purpose for this was the attenuator and that actually is working now so this was the first time I tried it and I'm pretty happy it came out pretty good and it actually just worked out right on my first try so that concludes our test um, pedals working thank you for watching I'll see you in our next video